week, losing to, to uh, Timothy Thatcher. He has learned his lesson, and he has returned to Thatcher's Thatch Can Wrestling School. Where yeah, he this is and all bizarre. His... No, it's not. It makes sense. He clearly has more to learn, Brian. He has not learned all he can learn from Timothy Thatcher. Yeah, but he was bullied and beat up and screwed. Right. And he's like, I'm going to go learn more from this guy. Clearly is this, this guy like a crew of heels? <laughs> a crew of... They all... Brian, these men need discipline, and they recognize that. And Thatcher is the one to discipline them. So the Vinny, whole, the I've been whole... trying this on you for like 25 years, and it hasn't done shit. Now That's you're true. all of a sudden saying, oh, well, it's obvious why these guys are going uh, back to Thatcher. I'm not saying I would go train with Timothy Thatcher. It's a horrible idea. I waste his time and mine. But these men have potential, Brian. Mm. There's hope for them. So anyway, they're all gathered around the television because they get to watch Timothy Thatcher versus Kushida. And I was excited as they were. Uh, Maybe I will join Thatcher's Thatch Can Wrestling. I was excited I was... early, but my excitement dissipated. So, In well. A cloud that's... of confusion. <laughs> that's fair. Johnny and Candace do a segment where they're selling merchandise for NXT as they're running down the various women's merchandise that is available. And he, Johnny points to one shirt. You tore her ACL. Points to another one. You destroyed her tank. They need to sell merchandise. And he's doing the whole thing with a Santa hat and a beard on. At the very end, he yanks them off to reveal, It's me! It's Johnny! Merry Power Couple Christmas! I laughed at this. This is great. So it's Timothy motherfucking Thatcher versus motherfucking Kushida. I was so excited. And they come out, and they're facing off, and then out comes Tomasa Ciampa with a steel chair. And here I wrote in all capital letters, Do not get involved, fucker! He takes a seat, we begin to watch, and for a while, it is awesome. They're doing awesome, awesome tra chain wrestling. It's one of those matches, technically, this followed the NXT formula, where they get the heat right at the break, and then start the comeback right after the break. But everything that happened before and after was so awesome, I don't care, right? <laughs> you, you can do this formula if the wrestling is so good, it's so good that I can just watch it all night anyway. So they're having this match, it's all kinds of fun. And there is one point, I will be fair, I love both these men, I've been a, a huge fan of both of them for all of 2020, but there's a point where they begin to trade some very crappy strikes on both, both, both parts. And Owens tries to save it by pointing out, you can see this match has taken a toll on them, they can't throw it with full strength. So eventually... When the announcer has to make that statement, something yeah. went really wrong. That's not good, that's not I good. thought the first half of this match, I was so disappointed, because it is Kushida and Timothy Thatcher... And it just was so not smooth, and it was like they were on two different pages. I was just, why is this not good? Really? And then, about halfway through, they started to do this series, and Kushida goes for the hoverboard lock. Thatcher reverses into a Kimura. Kushida counters into a straight yep. arm bar. Yep. Thatcher switches into an ankle lock. Kushida yep. then switches into an ankle lock of his own. Thatcher's bleeding from the nose. From that point forward, this match was awesome. But like the first part of this match, it was like a styles clash, which is impossible because they can both do the same they style. the same style, yes. I was like, what is going on? Why is this not good? And then it got good. But I did not like the first half of this match. I'm sorry to hear that, Brian. That's, that's your opinion. You're welcome to it. So regardless, as fun as this is, they end up falling out on the floor, and then Thatcher just takes his eyes off Kushida to... Eyeball Chompa, who has done nothing. He is sitting there in his chair like halfway up the ramp. He's not doing anything. But Thatcher takes his eye off the ball to look at him. Ends up hitting the post. And then the match just continues. And so Chompa distracts Thatcher again. And this time it leads directly to Kushida grabbing Thatcher, taking him down, putting him in the hoverboard lock. And Thatcher taps out. And yes. Fucking baffled. <laughs> Flabbergasted. For all year, they've been building up about how Thatcher does not consider it a loss, basically, unless it's by submission. He finally taps out for the first time. It's in a match out of nowhere, off a distraction thing. It was very, very strange. Did, I could be wrong. I could have sworn this guy already submitted to the Creep Farm's head and arm choke. He was put to sleep. He did not quit. Okay. Well, one the, way or the other. That, that did happen, yes. So the storyline as it's explained here... I just, I could not even, uh. the storyline is that last week, Champa said 
I want to fight Thatcher. Yes. And Thatcher responded, I've got no problem with you. Yes. And so the idea here was Ciampa distracts him. He gets beaten. And Ciampa looks in the camera and says, now he's got a problem with me. Okay. Listen. Walnut brains. That's a fucking great story. But in what goddamn universe is your conclusion? Well, we have to submit. Yeah. We have to submit Timothy Thatcher. Why can't Timothy Thatcher get cradled? Why can't Timothy Thatcher get counted out? Why can't Timothy Thatcher get disqualified? Anything. Something where Chumpa caused him to lose, but didn't cause him to get submitted. Like, what's amazing to me is, if I'm Chumpa, and they come up to me and they say, all right, well, we're going to build this up, where you want to fight him, he doesn't want to fight you, so he's going to do a match with Kushida, and you're going to distract him, and Kushida's going to submit him with... I'd be like, fuck you, hold on a second. This guy is not submitting to Kushida. Why the fuck, if I'm Ciampa, or if I'm anybody that has a clue, would I ever book a match where I'm trying to build up a feud with one of your biggest stars, Tommaso Ciampa? He's like, at the very tippy top, right? And you want people to care about a feud between him and Timothy Thatcher whose gimmick is that he's a shooter, and you fucking start the feud where Thatcher submits to Kushida? Mind-blowing to me. Like, this is 40 chess that I cannot even begin to comprehend. Yeah, the nicest thing I can say about this is it's not how I would have done it. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.